Hey guys, what's up? It's the Gas Gengar. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Anti Breath. Last time we left off, we actually did a Isaac. Well, not we did an Azazel run and we killed Isaac. Now we're going to do a Isaac run and hopefully this ends up uh, pretty good. Uh, we haven't done an Isaac run in a while. Um, so let's hop right into this. Uh, right off the bat, um, when I started up the recording today, um, which yeah, this is I will say this is recorded uh, a lot later. Then the first episode of the week. Uh, actually, this is being recorded on Friday because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, uh, I I panicked for a bit because for a second it loaded up my safe like the save files for Afterbirth instead of Antibirth, and there was nothing in the second save slot, and I started to panic. This is like, oh, not this shit again. And let's get that little soul heart. Ooh, ooh, and a secret room. Uh, right now, I'm just hoping to maybe try to get the petrified poop. Uh, that'll be that'll be pretty good right, to get right this early on. It's been a while since I've played with keyb uh, not keyboard. Uh, my control PS th th four controller. Wow, I don't even remember what kind of controller I play with. Um. Basically, I've been using my Xbox One controller to play because it's uh, it's a lot smoother. To f I, I guess is the word. It's it's definitely easier to use because uh, the D-pad isn't as squishy as the PlayStation 4's D-pad, and the control sticks are a lot more loose. And that's what I'm used to. It's like a loose control stick. Uh, I'm expecting Gluttony to bring out the Brimstone attack, but. Also, if you did not watch the last run, the, the last run. If you did not watch the last run, I do recommend going back and watching that because the Azazel run where we beat Isaac was pretty good, and it ended up making apparently. Apparently, I don't know if it's true, but apparently the run is now or the runs will now be harder than before since we did that. All right, so let's let's see if we got anything good. I mean, not really. If we had a dark bomb, I I mean that I guess that'd be good. I'm um, not going to do that room because it's probably going to be not worth it. Oh, come on. And we get a key. Nice. And a bunch of dingles. Come on. Ooh. Well, that almost resulted in a in stupid damage. Really, really stupid damage. Yeah, I don't really listen to the music that often unless I'm in the uh, the womb. And you know, I, I kind of forgot how awesome like overall all the music is in this. I don't know how I managed to grab that without taking any damage, but I'm not complaining. So let's hope on this floor we can at least get a damage up or maybe a tears item. Because that's usually the best route we can go. At least for a floor one. Unless it's like... Unless the boss is Gemini or something, then we really don't need it. And we get Bob's Curse. Yeah. Alright. Uh, it's not the best start, but at least now we have some bombs to mess around with. So let's go check out who this boss is. Man, sometimes, sometimes you really gotta work through those legs just to get all the way to the boss. And bladed ovum. I'm guessing it's just another luck. Uh, oh, I guess we can't actually shoot the ghost. What the hell is that? What? Wait. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, this is a new floor added in from Antibirth, and I thought you had to beat 
um, a certain enemy or something to get to this. This will take us to a new floor called the sewer. The sewer is apparently hard, like harder than the regular floors. Uh, I mean, you know what? Yeah, I, th I think it'll be worth it. Though, because we opened it. I mean, I wasted the key already to open the door, so I might as well go. So this is the sewer. Uh, they you can it you can definitely feel like this feels like it is like a regular like Binding of Isaac thing. There is a new enemy that can only be seen through its reflection. And as you can see, oh what what the stars? I'm not sure what it does. We'll use it. Oh, item room. So, piggy bank, or... I want I want this. Book of Shadows, Temporary Invincibility. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think we're going to need that. And we have the battery right there. Though, it does suck that the item room was not something that we could actually... Ooh. So, we're seeing a lot of, like, new enemies here. I don't know how well this run's going to go. But well, hopefully we don't screw this up too badly. We, yeah, we're seeing a lot of new enemies here, and that 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 on its own could probably screw us up. Uh, these flies, are, uh, these flies are a pretty cool idea. I don't know what this dude's doing. Oh, leeches, I guess. I don't know why I went in here. I honestly didn't even notice that this. Uh, we're gonna. Um. The, this was the map, right? So I'm not gonna buy the. Actually, I'm gonna buy the key. Since I accidentally. Even, since I came in here in the first place when I didn't mean to, I might as well replace the key that we just spent. Um, on this run, I plan on spending. Or not spending more, but. Putting more money in the shop than I am taking out because we need to level up our shop rank. Also, this run might end pretty poorly. You've already taken a lot more damage than I would have liked. And I don't see a legit rock anywhere. Nor do I know what the legit rocks on this floor look like. So let's grab this. Right now, I guess we're just gonna try going straight for the boss. Apparently, at some point, we got a damage upgrade. I don't know what that was from. But I'm not gonna complain. It upped our damage by, I think, two. So. Something around this floor is both ominous and soothing. Nice. And we got poison tears. And let's see what this pill is. Do not be bad trip. Health down. Even worse than bad trip. Great. So it seems like these guys can go anywhere as long as there's water on the floor. I, like the, I, I do like those enemies that pop up out of the water. They look pretty cool. So let's... Let's try to find this boss room. Oh, yeah, we found it. Like, it's hard to, uh... Like, see if these are, like, champion enemies or something. Because they're always tinted blue. Like, a little bit of blue now, but I'm guessing that's just the lighting from the floor. Which I don't think Isaac, like, the, the normal Isaac even does. So, a new enemy called Wormwood. So this... This is already... Gonna... Uh, result in me getting... Losing that double... Oh, we already lost the double room, so I don't know why I'm worried. Oh, 
Oh shit, it's actually punching holes through the floor. I thought it was just aesthetic. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know how we live that. That's... One plus the lowest stat. I, I think I would have preferred a health up. Not gonna lie. So before we go to the next floor, I'm actually gonna put this money in the shop while I can. Because I'm pretty sure the next floor we're gonna die. I'm not gonna lie. So you can see right off the bat, we are not doing too well, and I don't, how long is this one doing? Uh, eight minutes. So, we might, if we do die, we might have enough time to do another run. So, I'm not, I think I'll, I'll stick to the regular floors until I get better at the game. Down port two, and of course we're starting right off the bat with these flies again. Fuck. It's really fucking hard to shoot these things. So right now we have what are these what? Well, I always call them water skeeters. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. Pond skaters, maybe. Lovers, yes. So we're from the boss, that's pretty good. Come on. Nice. So, I want to avoid that big room as much as possible, because I feel like as soon as we go in there, we're going to die. So I'm hoping for either maybe a lard or maybe another damage up. Because if we can get da more damage off than we take, then we could definitely make it through this floor. I'm pretty sure after this floor, unless we have two keys, we can't move on to the next anti-birth floor. So I'm not gonna, I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, I know for a fact that the uh, new the other new anti-birth floor that they added in from this point is a lot harder. These guys are pretty... Just I like the idea of being able to throw parts of the environment. Well, that's a pretty nifty idea. And of course we get these dudes again. Last one. Nice. So it looks like we're going to have to hit up that big room. Again, not looking forward to it since that means more enemies we have to deal with. Well, most, it, it will probably mean more enemies, but I, I, you can't say that for sure. Because we, we've been in a few rooms so far where it's just been just a really big room with only like three enemies. Well, this ain't too bad. Okay, never mind. Here, here's enemies. Let's do the last one. Yeah. Yeah. With, with the lighting of the stage, it's really hard to find those like those legit rocks. Still hoping for the uh, petrified poop that would really help us out. Get more money to the bank, maybe able to buy some more keys. 
for the next few floors. And let's see. Uh, box of spiders or fly buddy. I think we're gonna go with the, with the attack fly. Because attack fly does do a decent amount of damage. I don't even know where I would bomb for, uh... Where, where would I bomb for a fucking hidden room? I don't even know. The haunt is an enemy... Uh, it's a, it's... It's a boss that was already in the game, but it's one that I definitely have a lot of trouble with. Should have saved the lovers for this room. I was just trying to get close enough to use the attack fly, but that didn't work out too well, so we're gonna We're gonna do another Isaac run. I don't know why. My controller is doing that thing. Alright, it, it was just randomly shooting down for no reason whatsoever. So let's see if this run gets any better. I don't know what this is. The Parasite Switch, switch Shot? Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I've never heard of this, like, item before, so this might be a new, like, anti-birth weapon. I mean, it definitely can come in handy for, like, the more crowded rooms, so I'm not complaining. Or like maybe a boss that summons a lot of uh, enemies. Come on. Come on. Huh? Huh. There we go. And serious the haunt. So the haunt is definitely not my ideal first floor boss. Mostly because I have enough trouble just dealing with it on like a third or fourth floor. And I'm just waiting for the- yep, there's the brimstone. And they're probably like wondering like, wow, this boss is like super easy, how can you, how can you suck at this? And I'm like, well, because I suck at this game. So, in the end, I suck at this boss. Mostly because it involves a lot of movement and just making sure that you're not in the way of the enemy. But I, I when it comes to the bosses, I usually look at the enemy like head on and then just like, used my peripheral vision to look at Isaac. Which probably is not the ideal way to, way to play, but it's the only way I know how to predict the enemy movements. Come on. Um, and... Okay, we're well, not going into that floor again. So let's head on to the next floor. Um, I'm going to avoid the uh, the later floors of the anti-birth floors for a little bit. We're gonna get to it eventually, just not now. Um, so right now we just need key. Got a nickel and a key, so I'm not complaining. And the item of this floor is what the hell is that? Boiled baby? What does it do? I've never seen this before. This is another new item. We're getting a lot of new items in this run. And we got another key. That's great. 
think I'm gonna wait a few floors before I go start putting keys or money away in the bank. So it just seems like it's just one of those really crappy like red spider turret things that just shoots random crap everywhere. Which I mean we could definitely live without, but whatever. It might come in handy in the end, we don't know. Try to take this slow and steady. I don't want to end up taking any more stupid damage, especially now that we got these soul hearts. Like it, it does have, a, it does shoot off a lot of tears at once, but at the same time, it doesn't have the best accuracy. Actually, its accuracy is probably some of the worst I've seen. Alright. Right. We're building up some cash. Oh, I didn't know there was enemies like other than those other ones that can rebuild themselves. But it will give us two hearts to come back to if we need it. There's nothing worth getting in here. And I'm not going to go for the pills. The Duke Flies is easy as hell, so we don't have to worry about this. Watch as soon as I say that, we fucking lose like all of our hearts. Yeah, this is way too easy. What is this, easy mode? Oh, that's a lot of flies. I kind of want to, like, I don't want, ooh. Ooh, the pentagram. Ooh, boy. Okay, troll bomb, troll bomb. How much money about the last one give me another troll bomb? Oh. No, let's not do that again. And bad gas. So let's go pick up the heart. Actually, yeah, there's one right here. We are not going to the sewers. I, this game's really trying to make me go down. Well, we got that sweet damage up. Ah, uh, curse the unknown. So I think this means that any items that we find are going to be a question mark. Which I mean, if it only gives us a choice of one, unless it's swim milk, then I'm, I'll probably be okay with it. And we, oh, there, and our health is not shown. So now we, th we have three perma hearts and one soul heart. Now we have three perma hearts. Or maybe three perma hearts and one half, or half a soul heart. I'm trying to make sure I don't take any stupid damage. And, alright. Yes, this was a pointless room. So I'm going to go off the assumption that we have three full hearts and then half a soul heart. I could be wrong. I am wrong. No, definitely. Now we definitely have only three full hearts at best. Okay, we still have three full hearts. And the item room is... Nope. 
bomb. I guess that's okay. I just want to get this forward so that way we can see what health we have. And make sure we have full hearts. And then let's go into the boss room when we have famine. No, no, what? Pestilence? I don't know, I should have just read it. Nope, no, we definitely only have three hearts left. Not three hearts, uh, at most, at most maybe a full heart. And we don't have any. Um, how long is this going? I don't, I don't know. Uh, one second, let's see. Alright, so this is a 26 minute episode long of Failure with Isaac. Um, I kind of want to go on, but at the same time, I'm kind of short on time. So, I'm sorry for the really short episode this time, guys. Uh, I'm going to try getting some more stuff out to you. Uh, more. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to think of maybe I sh I'm deciding between a soul link or a race. Uh, either or, you guys will know when it's happening. Though it will be pre-recorded by like maybe two weeks or so before it started from when you guys see it. So, I hope you guys are... I hope you guys will be patient with me. I, I'm trying... I'm trying my best to get back, build up some speed into building an actual recording schedule and all that. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please hit the like button down below. Comment down below what you think I could have done better during this run. Or maybe if you saw legit rocks or something that I didn't see. I don't know. Um, Yeah, so until next time, I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, bye bye